All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to bring to your attention with a brief PSA, a common type a, of email scam, which is a fake receipt. So what are they trying to do with this fake receipt? They're trying to get you to send them your banking or your credit card information so that you can get a fake refund for something you never actually bought. So what's going on? So I received this email a while back on June 14th at like one in the afternoon called, we have accepted your online order. And all it says is it's from someone called Kabbalaga Danas, whatever. And it says, thank you for showing interest in our subscriptions. And it was sent at a time when I didn't make an order, probably to try to make you freak out and think that you accidentally purchased something when you didn't. If you open this fake PDF, A, this doesn't look official in any respect. It doesn't even use the correct McAfee logo. In fact, it's me, Cuffy, support. And it says, dear customer, thank you for your yearly subscription plan has been upgraded. I hope you're happy with your McAfee yearly membership plan purchase. Please take a moment to provide feedback. And so what this is trying to make me think is that I spent almost $400 on a McAfee VPN online security service subscription. And what they're probably going to want me to do is to either respond to this email or to call this number here in order to try to get it refunded. So my recommendation is a couple of things. A, besides clicking this preview, don't actually open this PDF because it could be a virus if you open it on your computer. So that's step one. And let's just take a look at why this is an obviously fraudulent email. A, this doesn't have anything descriptive in the title as to what this purchase was or who it's from. Usually companies say, well, thank you for shopping at Burpees uh, Seeds. This is what you ordered. And the other thing is here you can see there's a long list of other people that were spastically emailed at the exact same time as I was. There is a really ridiculously long email. These people couldn't even be bothered to like BCC people so I couldn't see it. Now, the other thing is there's no detail in the actual email itself. Almost every company will put a copy of the receipt in the email and then a copy of the receipt in an automatically generated PDF. The other thing about this PDF is they there's nothing about this that looks official. There's no official branding. There's no official marketing, and it's not even collated and formatted in a visually appealing way. All these companies, they pay for a service, and one of the services that they pay for, they like to make everything look nice and pretty for them so their customers are impressed. It's easy to figure out what they purchased and all of that stuff while also looking branded and on point. So this looks trashy. This is a fake McAfee ripoff company. All of this is sketchy. This would just be something that you should delete. Um, never. And obviously, whenever you're getting a, a refund for something, they should never need your banking credentials and they should never need your credit card information. They already have that. That's when and how that they're going to try to scam you if you give them that information. So never give anyone that information. If you accidentally purchase something, they already have all the information that they need in order to process a refund. If they don't, they're either a sketchy website that you shouldn't have bought from in the first place, do a chargeback, or they're a scammer. So I hope that helps. Just be aware of these emails. They're obviously junk. I get some of these for like Norton occasionally too. If you don't remember buying something, automatically assume it's a scam. In fact, automatically assume anything could be a scam, even if it's a seemingly legitimate receipt in your email. Always independently go verify it by going to the website and question just directly yourself. Like if they're pretending to be like uh, Amazon, don't click their link. Go to Amazon independently, open a new tab, type in Amazon or Google Amazon's website, and then check. Don't use links in emails. Those can be used to scam you, even if they look legitimate. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd bring this up as a sort of PSA for people because these have been coming up in my email a lot. I uh, hope this helps you, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.